Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're back with Transport Fever Peninsula and we're following Big Rod McGurk uh, as, it, uh, as it completes its, uh, its voyage into Asgard. There's a 50-50% chance. That's not a plane with this kind of There's a 50% chance I've got that wrong and that we're actually heading into Erie, but we are in fact heading into Asgard. I got it right first time. Um, he's got eight passengers on board, so it's going to pay off a little. But, uh, but as uh, as anticipated, we are not quite at the point yet where uh, where this is uh, this is manifesting an awful lot of traffic. Now, chances are I am cannibalising this service with the tram route that operates between the two towns, and, uh, and that may be something that we cancel. Uh, but uh, but we'll have a look. Uh, where are we? The uh, the main stop here is I'm all turned around, so I'm in the wrong place. Uh, here we go. Commuter Asgard is yeah, it's uh, ooh, not uh, no, that no, that's the wrong one. Uh, there you go. Iron Asgard. You've got 25 passengers waiting. Uh, no, we don't actually go to Erie. It's fine. It's all good. Everything's fine. You can forget why I spoke. Uh, so that's it's got potential. Now our first objective here today is going to be to uh, to upgrade the uh, the commuter route at Erie. Hello, Peter Witt and your streetcar. Um, in order to uh, in order to drive a few more passengers to the station, and because the AI has already got some kind of rambunctious idea that it's working on, this is actually not connected to anything. So the only place anybody using what's that going to be residential and commercial. Beautiful. The only place they can go is to the station, and that's fine by me. Uh, but I need to get a I need to get a bus stop in here somewhere so that we can uh, we can ferry some passengers around. I'll, I'll work on that. Uh, other things for today's agenda are, uh, are to make sure that the uh, the new shipping route is still working. Although, arguably, by this point, we can no longer consider it new. Uh, I want to try and get the uh, try and get the debt down. I want to do some more stuff, and we want to generally make some more money. So, uh, so hang around. There's a lot to do. Now this is a lovely looking shot, isn't it? Isn't this good? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked uh, at the beauty of the shot that we've got going on with some construction activity happening and the train pulling into the station, having come up the windy bridge from elsewhere. Oh, that's, that's lovely. If it weren't for just this, this era of ugliness we've got going on there, it would be, it would be a sight to behold. Uh, okay, how much have we got this time? Eleven. What are your finances looking like? Uh, horrific. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, oh. Um, right. Okay. Well, no, no matter. You can't make an egg without breaking a few omelets. So uh, we'll uh, we'll do that. How much will it cost to get rid of that? 150k. Worth it. Yeah, definitely worth it. Pause. Right. I've got uh, I've got the best part of a million in the bank. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do this while uh, while the going's good. Uh, right. Okay. Medium Street out from here. Yeah, your your house is for it's the wrong end. It's the other end where you've uh, where you've got a construction dilemma coming up. Yes, and on the subject of construction dilemmas, this is nothing, of course, compared to when I actually have to start rebuilding stations and uh, and the approaches to them to to make them longer and to uh, to add uh, new connections to them. So uh, <laughs> the complexity that we're facing now is uh, is small potatoes compared to what we're going to have to deal with in the future. Uh, but that's, that's in the future. Right, there we go. We've built that connection in. Now I just need to figure out if I can fit a tram stop in here. If I can't, I'll put it somewhere else. Can't say fairer than that. This is the one I want, but I'm not allowed it. What about over here? Surely, oh, look at that. That's, no, hold on, it wasn't actually connecting to anything. Uh, it works just fine if you if you leave it doing something weird, but uh, whoa no 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 didn't want to do that. That sorry my finger slipped. It does happen. Uh, even to grizzled veterans such as myself, you can have accidents of that kind. Uh, right, stick it right there. I know it's a slightly weird corner, but you can't get better for a bit of connectivity there. So uh, so that's all grand. Now we have to hope that the, uh, the layout of this town is such that uh, it will allow me to look at what it's just done to that. Oh, it's so painful. I think that, that in the future there is going to be more than one full town destruction 
uh, that occurs in order to to make these less horrendous. Um, or or maybe not. You know, maybe everything is uh, is rather like uh, rather like Bath. Oh, which, if you've never been there, is a, is a town in the uh, southwest of the country uh, that is famed for just how steep the uh, the roads are around it. Anyway, I've built a nice little loop here. We're going to do a bit of crossover. Uh, a, a bit, hold on. No, we're not. Look at that. Erie Central, the coverage of that is flaming magnificent to the extent that this is really bringing nothing to the part. How much of coverage have you got there? This is This is arguably not worth doing. Hold everything. I've got a better idea. Yeah, it is a better idea. Okay, right. New plan. Uh, you here, uh, the, but going from Beauclair to Erie Central. You're no longer going to Erie Central. You instead are going to uh, to the Erie sidings. Uh, that will get you right bang on the uh, the station. The only thing I'm not doing is is alleviating the walking distance for the folks at this end of town. So if I were to put maybe a uh, a stop here, we'd at least capture this lot. Now, that's not going to be very many people, but I'm going to do it anyway, uh, just purely so that we've got that catchment covered and then we've got, you know, full town coverage happening. So we'll do a, we'll do a standard, uh, standard approach to this, which is going to look something like uh, this. All right, up to there, up to here back to here, up to there. That's utterly pointless. All right, well, I won't do that then. <laughs> it only works when you're working with three or more stops, you wally. Uh, okay, fine. No, not a problem. All right, uh, so this is going to be commuter. Sorry, that amused me far more than it had any right to do. Uh, commuter, uh, eerie. We will use the... No, 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 you don't do it like that. Although maybe you should... I think it looks nicer. Right, so if you rename the other one as well, then uh, then you've set a precedent uh, as guard. Right, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, good. Now then, find somewhere that will sell you a thing that will run on that. Oh, one times Peter Witt streetcar is uh, is what I think will, uh, will fit the bill there. And uh, so we're going to need a little bit more space. Get one of those, do one of these. Uh, make sure it's electrified, it is. I'll whiz that around the corner. Construction's not possible. Shut up. Yes, it is. There we are. Right, give me a tram. Peter Witt's streetcar. There you go. Good. Excellent. Right, and get to work and unpause. Right, I hope that will make some kind of impact on the passenger numbers that we have flowing uh, betwixt these two towns. Uh, I would have thought so, because Asgard has got plenty of traffic going on in there. It's uh, it's purely a question, as you can see, actually, for even from a distance, you've got some usage going on of the uh, of the tram service. That's nice. Uh, Eleven there on board. Ah. Now, the, the reason that I, I often struggle to make money with my, my commuters is because you end up with a... Oh, definitely. What are you playing at? Look at me! I'm old! Yes, you might well be old. Uh, have we not got a faster bus than that? Passengers bus. The post bus. 16 miles per hour. Broom broom! No, uh, we'll stick with uh, the Jolly Green Mac. Uh, replace it now. Yeah, it's going to cost too But, frankly, the age of the steam wagon is, uh, is beyond us. Steam trains, still plenty of life left in that dock. But, uh, but the steam wagon can get itself ruddy upgraded. Otherwise, no one's going to use it, and we'll all look jolly foolish. Uh, also, while I'm here, this is just it's begging out for someone to do something nice for it. So uh, we'll get rid of it. Uh, really? Putting it out of its misery is the nicest thing you could do? No, look, we're going to do that. One building will be removed. Oh, it really doesn't need to be, though, does it? Yeah, it does. If you... If this is the connection you want without a bridge, you are going to need to knock that building out. Well, I don't want a bridge, and I want that connection. How about that? It's got a bridge. What about that? Hasn't got a bridge. And it's a little bit cheaper. Not a massive amount cheaper, but a little bit cheaper. And therefore, we shall take it. Now then, uh, let's leave this as we find it. We've got commuting kind of sorted out. I don't know how well it's going to work. 
but the fact that we're routing passengers in now to the uh, to the station stop uh, should help drive some passengers to this. It's all about getting as many people onto those trains as you can, so that uh, so that the trains themselves make you plenty of bucks. Um, right now, then let's go and have a look over here at Industrial Central, and it's looking pretty good. And what have we got here? One eighteen. Not bad at all. Uh, someone in the comments a couple of episodes ago suggested that actually if I put the refinery over on the other island, then I'd be taking fuel one way and uh, and oil the other way. And therefore, you'd be doubling up your revenue from the shipping. That's a jolly good point. Well played. Uh, however, we've not done that. So, uh, uh, there it goes. Uh, you can't be helped at this stage. Uh, I mean, I could build a refinery. They're not uh, they're not vastly expensive, but it's 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 less about that now and more about make it work. Plus, these ships are going to make profit anyway, so that's that's not so much of a problem. How are we doing here? Industrial racks, seventy nine waiting. So that's the shuttle service between the refinery and the uh, and the drop off no, and the the, the well. That's fine. I don't mind that there's a big queue for that. That's okay. 60 waiting to go out to Naval, which is the port. That's okay too. And oil transit from that, which is what delivers to the town. That's that. We've got it the wrong way around. Industrial rack is the, uh, is the main delivery. Therefore, you need another truck on that pronto. Okay, all right, well, we'll put another truck on that pronto. You, you seem to declare that there's there's a, a fair amount of urgency in it. We'll buy two. See see if that uh, that makes you happier. Because if I don't stay on top of the queue that, you've, uh, that I've got there, then uh, oil production's going to grind to a halt, and there'll be the wailing and the gnashing of teeth. Uh, I think also we're starting to get to the point where this truck is not so you can, we can do a bit better than this flipping thing. Go on, have, uh, have an upgrade. Uh, okay, have an upgrade next time around. Look at me, I'm on my traction engine. Yes, aren't you wonderful? Take your flipping time. We're also stuck on this track. Which can also be half a million. Fine. It will pay for itself. That is a profitable route. And therefore, a little bit of a speed and capacity upgrade can only be a good thing. Talking to myself in a very forthright nature there. Uh, and then, we also have the opportunity to add an industrial alco. Look at it, look at it. It's got 66 waiting. We can add another one there as well. All of which should add up to, uh, to make a bit more cash and, uh, and keep, this, uh, keep this oil system in motion. Uh, what were we going? Where? What? What did you want to do there? Oil, transit, rack. No, no. Hold on. It's, it's highlighting the routes for you and everything. It's not that one. Well, which one is it then? It's got to be industrial. Yes. Which industrial? Alco. Right. You only said it up like a moment ago. Look, I'm trying to be coherent, and therefore sometimes you forget what you said like a second after you said it. So, you know, it's life, it's not, uh, it's not easy. Now, I, I mentioned briefly after setting this line up that, uh, that a train route from the, uh, from the oil well here down to the refinery is unlikely to pay dividends. And that's absolutely correct uh, because they are far, far too close together uh, for a train to, to reach the kind of speeds necessary. I'm going to make more money using trucks. However, were I to instead use this oil well, then all of a sudden everything becomes a little bit more interesting. Interesting in the sense of, oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, because the distance involved is further, it will mean that there is greater money to be had. Now, that will involve junking the existing operation, which I've, I, I don't mind doing that. But we'd stick a station in down there, run it across like this, and then run it back again. I'd love to do that. Uh, it's, I mean, it's an expensive setup to do, uh, but the question is, will it make more money than I'm doing with the trucks? I think it'll be sexier, but I don't think it will necessarily make any more money. Uh, other opportunities we've got along those lines is any train line you like from here to any other town 
that we've got going on, particularly if they're close together. So the, the dream one, if it's close enough, and that's by no means certain, uh, would be to go from Raccoon City to Moss Eisley, because that then gives you the uh, the, the triple team of terror, uh, Moss Eisley, Shermer, Caprica, connectivity there, that you could do your delivery. So you'd ensure that your, uh, your demand was relatively high while that was going on. Keep it in mind. Uh, I, I just tell you that for, for reasons. Right, now then, where are we? Are you, are you heading back this way? You are heading back this way. We've got another full load coming in. And how much have we got waiting for shipment here? That's the road depot. Yes. That's the station. This is fine. We're on top of it. So the, the goal must be that when the second ship arrives, we have emptied out all this fuel. Okay, good. Right, now I've got a plan. Here's the plan for today. Uh, we have done, we've, we've done a little bit of commuting stuff, and that's always lovely. Uh, but we're going to ship oil to somewhere else, uh, and it's going to be another. It's going to be another connection. I'm, I'm very tempted to take in a rapture. Uh, the only real downside to that is that from the port here, you can't get through there. Uh, so it will have to go the long way to go around to Rapture. Now the other opportunity we've got, of course, is uh, we could do City 17. We could do Arakeen. I don't know if Arakeen or Hill Valley is the better one. You've also got Silent Hill. You've got Waterdeep. You've got Castle Rock. You've got Dark City. Any of those delivery routes should pay off splendidly. Or rather, they should pay off in the same way that the existing oil route is doing. Uh, while we consider this, let's pay the loan down a smidge. Because we're now pushing 400 grand a year in, in loan servicing. We actually made profit last year. Not as much as I like. Uh, no, but we didn't get any oil deliveries at all last year. So no ship-based oil delivery occurred last year. Uh, so uh, 350 grand up, and we bought 320 grand's worth of new vehicles. That's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. The only problem is that all I'm doing right now is further capital investment... And, uh, and I'm not getting anything back from it. I'm, I'm immediately sinking everything back into what I've already done. We're going over here. Right. This is three towns that are easy to connect up to. It looks like we've got a, a straightforward kind of hub connection route, kind of connection, kind of hub, kind of situation going on there. Uh, especially if we bridge across as well. Not cheap, but should be doable. Right. Bring me up a port. And, uh, and let's have a look at it. Uh, right, so you want the road bit on the land. I'm a total pro. If this is the one you want, do it now. Okay. Right, there we go. That was easy. Uh, I could have gone for multiple docks, but we don't need multiple. Oh, you've built the wrong one. I've not done that in ages. I don't believe it. Well, the majority of those costs was in placing the thing to start with. There's the end of the year. That's me low on cash again. And you built the wrong one, you absolute Charlie. Okay, right. Well, I guess uh, that's part and parcel. You've got to pay attention. You can't get complacent. Just because you've got 800 hours in the game doesn't mean you don't occasionally place the wrong flipping port. Right. Borrow the money. Because I'm not hanging around. We'll pay it back before the end of the year. Bulldoze it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, well, thanks for playing. You've been splendid. Uh, now put the right port on there. And then uh, get back to work. Well, What happened to... I've paid most of the smoothing costs already. Yeah, obviously that wasn't true. Uh, there. Right, thank you. Now then, what was I talking about? Oh, who really cares? Uh, let's, uh, let's now run a, a smidge of road up to there. I'd rather not have a tunnel, but uh, stuff it. Let's do it anyway. Oh, I'm starting to get belligerent about cash. That's a fatal move. Uh, connect that up over there. And then uh, can we get uh, a, a little a little bridge? Ooh, this one looks like a little bit. That's, that's horrendous. Who knows the island? Do 
that bit, then go over there, right, and now try and stay somewhat flat as you uh, as you wind your way over the uh, over the lumpen section here towards a, a nice, easy, and hopefully cheap mind connection. Now I'm building all of this out of city streets because ever the optimist. I'm hoping that uh, that the AI will go, oh, that looks like a lovely place to put a house. And I'll go, yes, it is a lovely place. Build a house forthwith. Um, also, since I'm here, can't help but notice that we've got another one of these flipping things clogging up traffic. Get replaced. Yes. Just just do it, will you? You're, you're holding back progress for all of this. Uh, and also, you're going to be you're going to be hurting for passengers unless you can pick up the tempo because everyone will be using cars. Right, I now need a, uh, well, we need a, we need a good hub to, uh, stop for traffic. A truck stop. Yes, goods hub stop for traffic. 200 grand for you. That's too expensive. Can't you do it for a little bit less than that? Uh, uh, how about 150? All right, 150 is not too bad. Uh, but what if we were to go the other side? Surely that will be cheaper. Yes, it will. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anywhere here is good. 85. Sold. All right. Okay. This is promising. Now then, we need to... Uh, we've got three delivery points, which means that this route is actually going to be... This is, This should work out really well. Uh, let's bring up the colors. Colors. Where are my delivery points? Uh, well, here... Although, saying that, show me coverage. I don't like to do it, but I'm going to do it. We're going to drop them off here at the uh, at the bus stop. That's awful. Yeah, it is. Especially since you've got a lot of wasted land there. I mean, yes, it's on the wrong elevation, but it's it's still you, surely it must be you must be able to do something with it. No, we'll use that for now because it's cheap. Uh, okay, what about option number two? Well, then you're going to want somewhere around there. This one's going to be out of the way. You get a little bit of catchment, but uh, nowhere near enough. You're going to want one there. Uh, okay, well, this is this is making me slightly more comfortable. Uh, so we need this, and then you've got... I don't actually have the delivery stops, do I? No, so you are literally using bus stops as, uh, as delivery points. Yeah, how the mighty hath fallen... Yeah, the mighty hath fallen, but uh, the mighty doesn't really care. Right, put that in there, and you get maximum coverage. That's good, too. And then for our third... Oh, look at this. This has got loads of industry going on. Uh, and I think, actually, our primary bus stop here is going to cover all of it. Groovy. Right, so now three routes. Three, thank you. Uh, and we'll go for... Uh, so this is going to be industrial one, two, three. Okay, all right, well, choose one. There you go, Silent Hill, which is just a great name for a town, frankly. So that's uh, this is going to be uh, Industrial Water Deep. Yeah, Industrial uh, Water. Uh, and then number two is going to be from Silent Hill Exchange, which is going to be called Silent Hill Nautical. No, it's not. Okay, it's going to be called something that's not that. All right, fine. Uh, oh, what have I got? Did I call it shill? It's the kind of thing that I do. Uh, uh, industrial, S-H-I-L. Uh, and then finally, from there, up to that one. Great. Oak Street. No, that doesn't remind me of the name. Castle Rock. Uh, industrial. Fewer typos. Uh, make the make the something go. Uh, cast. Uh, or where we go... Uh, castle. I I honestly couldn't tell you. What's what have we called it? Uh, CS Pro, uh, CSRO. Oh, CSRO. Okay, fine. Yeah, CSRO. See, that's the problem with setting everything up all in one go. Is you can't remember what you called it. Uh, so dark. That's dark city. Water is water deep. Uh, we just need to re a quick reminder of what Silent Hill is called. Shill. Yeah, I thought I might. Right, now then, how many trucks do we need on each of those? I would say uh, two, two, four, three as a starter. 
Now, I'm going to run those first. You know why I'm going to run those first. I tell you every time I do it why I'm running these first, but I'm going to tell you again anyway. Uh, right, two to Silent Hill, please. Industrial. Uh, shill. There we go. Right, kill that. Uh, then buy another two. Right, you're going to you're going to water deep. Uh, so you're going to water deep. Right, good. And then three. Right, this, this is not a small capital investment you're making here. Yeah, I know. You were bemoaning your capital investments just recently. Yeah, I know. But uh, this is what's going to make us the money, right? This this oil line is going to be the fuel which uh, allows me to do more magnificent things with trains very quickly. Okay, let's uh, let's modify that, shall we? It's going to allow me to do things with trains at a more leisurely pace. Uh, or at a better pace. Right, you there. There you go. Right, you are... Bring up the bring up the stage here. Port. It's a port, not a stage. Uh, you are... What? Line one? That will never do. Um, I don't know the naming convention. Uh, let's call it Urn. That uh, seems to be fitting for the time being. I'm going to fix that in a minute. Uh, this is Silent Hill. Nautical. Right. Good. Uh, it's nautical, portical, uh, whatever you like. Now, get a wriggle on, stop pontificating, and uh, and set two, again, ships on that route. Uh, well, I ain't got the money for that. Well, yeah, but, you know, you, you've got to start somewhere. Can I even afford one? Yes. All right, that's something. Uh, set line onto Erm. Shipping, oil, and then the two towns is what you call it. Okay, so this is shipping, oil, uh, shell, rack. Right, good. And then buy another one. We're going to need to borrow some money for that. So borrow it already. Uh, buy another ship. Vandal. Yes, good. Root, same one. Thank you. Oil, rack, Atlantis. We should put the name the other way around because rack is our, dest is our starting point. Rack. Shill. Good. Happy? Oh, I'm flipping delirious. Right, that's going to have a positive impact. Now, I think that, that we've possibly still got some more pickup we can do from here uh, just to head out to Atlantis. Um, but it does, that would require another ship, which is an expensive, it's an expensive piece of kit. But it would mean that we do get a payoff more frequently. What have we actually got waiting here now? 128. Uh, these ships have a 150 capacity. And I imagine we've possibly got... Yeah, look, you see, you've got even more that you can be shipping there. Let's put another two trucks on it. So it's slightly worrying that there's not much waiting to go anywhere else. I'm going to have to check my throughput here. One, two, set this on to... Uh, it's down at the bottom. Oil, naval transfer, go. Right. Yes? Good. Fabulous. Right. That's uh, that's that's super duper. Right. Repay a little bit. Oh, I've almost maxed my loan. That is going to put a dampener on the, the amount of expansion we can do. Uh, there are still plenty of opportunities to be had with, with replacing buses with trams uh, on a point-to-point uh, -point basis between towns. Yeah, there's money to be made in that. But what it's not going to do is, is reveal to us, you know, new routes and exciting new things that we can we can profit from. So I can't really, can't really be helped. Uh, there is a risk the more I use this that we end up with some queuing going on, and I do think that uh, the Arakeen connection is uh, is possibly another way we could make some cash. I could only go, I could go as far as City 17 and then use a train, which could be exciting. Um, but again, how much money is that going to cost? It's going to cost an absolute flaming fortune, Gov. Yes, it is. And also, we've got a new route coming in this way, uh, which means that we're going to need to start pumping an awful lot more fuel down the mountainside. Let's have a look and see what the production's actually at right now. 374. Yeah, see, it's, uh, it's stopped temporarily because we're not shipping it fast enough. Okay, right, well... Well, let's let's make uh, let's make some headway there. Uh, I've got 132k. Let's let's buy as many trucks as that can afford us. 
What's that? Two. Steady on. And then you're going to go on to uh, oil transfer. No, no. Is it? I'll tell you what, this is a flipping useless colour for it showing up. Yeah, it's flashing. Do that. Everything that we can keep moving through the cycle, through the system, is uh, is going to make more money over time. There's one of our new tracks. How much we've got on board? 11. Good. That's going to make some cash. On the subject of which, or on which subject, if you want to put that in an order that makes sense, uh, let's go and have a quick look and see how we're doing. I'm just going to wait a couple of days so I can pay off another half. Uh, because uh, end of the year is rocking up pretty swiftly. We'll make it. It's the 26th. We're at 400 grand. Come on. Come on. Come on. There it is. Good. Right. How are we doing this year? 700,000 down. Oh. But you spent 800,000 on construction costs. And then 2.7 million on new vehicles. We're there. And the Milwaukee's become available. I love the Milwaukee. It's a terrific looking train. Um, yes. Okay. Right, so, it, theoretically, we made two million in profit that year, if not more. Uh, so, there, there is, there's a lot of upside to what we're doing right now, but what I don't have is patience. So, maybe, ahead of the next episode, what I'll do is I'll wait three years. I know, as much as three years. Uh, and see if I can't get the loan down a little bit more, or at least a nice big fat slush fund available, so that we can build another train line. Uh, I think it's high time we put a, uh, a three-city connection together. I, uh, arguably, it is uh, it is past high time that we did that. Uh, yes. Right, where are you going? You're going out to Silent Hill. That's okay. And you should be going... No, that's just the route. It's not... T yeah, no, no, it's not just the route. Uh, send you to the other one. All right, go to... Uh, can I, how do you change it to the next... Destination, Raccoon City. Can you go there instead? Can I... Oh, hold on. No, if I turn you around... There you go. Right, you don't want them both going the wrong way to start with. One of them going the wrong way will mean that you, you end up with a little bit better spacing. Uh, but, but both of them going the wrong way, and you, know, you have to do some manual spacing rubbish, and that's no fun at all. I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching today. Slightly shorter one today, but uh, this is the kind of target length episode that we are aiming for. Um, it's coming on. Uh, there's definite profit to be had. Let's go and review the uh, the, the new train. Uh, just just to see if we've got any pickup yet. And our survey says, right now, pickup. Uh, it's okay. Nine passengers is okay. What have we got coming up this way? Twenty-five. All right. Well, no, we're getting somewhere. Oh, I was going to look at the uh, at the number the, the runs and riders. Uh, here we go. Right, brace yourselves. Okay, shipping oil rack shill, uh, which is the new one, has lost us 130k this year. But the second worst has only lost 47,000. That's great. Oh, that's really good news uh, because at the top end. We're doing all right. Uh, the uh, the ships are paying off more than anyone else. But then the oil transit is also it, it's it's you know that's half a million worth there. That's not bad. Uh, we've got a few Gen ones. Let's, in fact, let's compare them. Uh, the Gen ones. Uh, Zion Rapture's still losing money, but it is 54 years old. If I should really replace it. Uh, Arkham. Uh, to iron is 59 years old, also needs replacing. We could probably, if I were to investigate that, uh, we could probably add quite a few more passenger capacity onto that as well. The only one that's really making money is Asgard Arkham. 179 is respectable. Oh, no, no, I'm lying. Uh, uh, two Elmo. Am I looking at the right line here? No, Zion Rapture has made 134k. Has that little line started paying money? Oh... Well, that is nice. Okay, well, maybe that's my next investment, is to uh, is to upgrade some of the older trains and start using some newer stock. Uh, yes, it's going to be more expensive to run, but uh, the delivery of more passengers should lead to a situation where, uh, where towns grow a little bit quicker and then more passengers become available and everything starts looking groovy. The dream, of course, is to the two million potential that I'm turning over at the moment, we can actually then fully invest uh, into uh, into building new things because 
because that's where it starts getting fun. Uh, anyway, I've been Colonel Failure. I've mentioned that already. I mention it again. Uh, let's ride on the trains and goes up the hill. I'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. Well, chums, as you may be aware, I'm endeavouring to turn this part-time caper of mine into a full-time venture. And in order to do so, I'm going to need to make a few more bucks. Now, there are several ways that I can go about doing this. The first way is I can do more popular games that you might not be quite so keen on. Uh, well, all right, so yeah, it's there. Uh, but uh, I don't want to do that. Instead, I'd rather ask you fine people if you wouldn't mind chipping in a little towards this endeavor. Uh, there are several ways you can do so. You can buy a t-shirt, many of which are littered uh, in the uh, just below the description area underneath this video. Mm, they're good too. Uh, the second way you can get involved is by backing the channel, and there are two ways you can do that. You can press the join button here on YouTube, or you can have head over to Patreon, where there are several different options. Uh, if you do become a backer, you get an extra video every week. And, uh, and if you're, if you're uh, a Patreon member of five bucks or more, or you hit the join button, you also get a monthly vlog, which looks a lot like this, but is far less succinct. Um, what else could you do? Oh, scale about. That's the thing that I do as well. Uh, that's down there in the description, and that allows you to have the video of your own desire uh, delivered to you, whatever that might be, as long as it's within reason. There you go. Commercial message ends. Don't do this very often, uh, but I'm looking onwards and upwards and forwards and sideways, and, uh, and you can help me maybe accomplish a little bit more of that if you've got a spare couple of quid knocking down the back of the sofa.